Hello my friends and welcome back. The article for today is uh, interesting because that's a de-escalation of the war in Ukraine. And uh, the parties involved uh, <clears throat> repeatedly uh, told us that they de-escalate by uh, providing heavy weapons, tanks, we provide airplanes and uh, artillery, heavy artillery, to Ukraine. So then, uh, in the same process of de-escalation, uh, they will uh, do more than that. And this is what uh, I found about the new pro new NATO process of de-escalating the war in Ukraine. Remember, war is peace. Peace is war. So. Uh, this article is from uh, Fox News and uh, it's from uh, today, April 29th, 2022. And this is the title NATO preparing for massive military exercises as Russia continues invasion of Ukraine. Well, can you think what the Russian will, Russians will do? Can you guess? I think the Russians will pack their toys and just go to Siberia or Vladivostok. Am I right? <laughs> if I have an IQ of uh, under uh, 86, yeah, that's true. And he, we have here then uh, tens of thousands of troops from NATO and its European allies are gathering up, are gearing up for a series of military exercises that the United Kingdom is calling one of the largest shared deployments since the Cold War. Well, maybe this is gonna be like a uh, no, Normandy. That would be the Normandy, a new Normandy. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna hurt your feelings, guys, but with or without Normandy, the Soviet Union would have gone to Lisbon, uh, <laughs> Portugal. Well, nevertheless. Uh, so, uh, let's see what we have here. It says here that uh, the exercise, backed by aircraft, tanks, artillery, armored assault vehicles, will take place in Finland, Poland, of course Poland, North Macedonia, so that the south over there. I told you, I said, I told you the Balkans are on fire. And along the Estonia, Latvia, of course, those guys border. They will include troops from NATO and the Joint Expeditionary Force, which includes non-NATO members, Finland and Sweden. Good. The security of Europe has never been more important, UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said Friday. These exercises will see our troops join forces with uh, joint forces with allies and partners across NATO and the Joint Expeditionary Force in a show of solidarity and strength in one of the largest shared deployments since the Cold War. Okay, okay. I'm just asking, what do you think this signals? What signal do you think this sends the Russian? Oh, we shouldn't care? Okay, well, remember the same attitude of brushing off uh, you, uh, uh, Russia, I'm sorry, not Ukraine, uh, Russia, uh, it's been since 1991, so be 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 careful of frustrated uh, uh, organisms or abused organisms, because when they get the opportunity and they get enraged, they will release that on whomever is around. As an example, I would use uh, the elephants. You could watch some uh, and you can read some about elephants who were abused in captivity by their, uh, you know, masters, owners. And uh, all of a sudden when they, something clicks, they do whatever they do best, which means eating leaves, <laughs> not. So uh, this gonna escalate. So the Russians seeing this, they could perceive it as an ex existential threat to their uh, uh, country and they could start plan A. A okay, but uh, it's so much restraint, I think. But you see, it's just countering, equaling um, 
responding, always responding to the the de escalation from coming from the other side. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know things uh, get. Uh, maybe the Russians are just gonna leave it as it is. Probably they're gonna say that okay, we're just gonna I don't know switch to number three on our nuclear uh, uh, missiles. That means number four is a uh, finger button on. And uh, again, the Westerners will assure us our, our handlers will assure us the little fish that everything is a okay and we should not be concerned because the Russians are bluffing. I think that's what's going to be. No, well, that's good news, I guess. Good participation. Get your popcorn and start watching the deployment of NATO troops uh, in the Eastern Europe uh, and north around Macedonia. Okay, Macedonia, now I know who you are with. <laughs> Nevertheless, okay, well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you in a moment. Bye.